just about to uh, cook myself a meal and it struck me that I haven't actually shown you my uh, cook setup for camping both campsites and wild camping so I thought I'd just do it now before I tuck into some food so <coughs> This little bag here is my basic cook set. Depending on what trip I'm doing, what camping I'm doing, I'll take other things as well. And for some trips, I'd only take half of that. But the idea with this is that this fits into my 21 Brothers uh, bag on the outside there's a couple of water bottle holders so you can get quick access to them anytime without going inside the bag and that fits beautifully into one of those bottle holders the, bot the bottle holders hold uh, one and a half litre bottles of water and usually um, if I'm wild camping I'll have a one and a half litre bottle of water in the one side because I've got two and on the other side this this lives in there really that stays in there so I can access it when I'm camping I can access it if I'm on the road if I want to make a cup of tea I'm in a remote location and want to make a brew I don't have to unpack anything just pack that take that out and I've got it so let's have a look very basic this but and it sort of ever evolves Although I've sort of, this has sort of settled now into what I've got in there now is basically it. So, tea towel. Just fold it up. Very, very useful. Not only for cleaning stuff, but just for laying out and putting stuff on. And inside the bag, I've got three things. Sorry, four. So, tea towel at the top. A little titanium spoon it's uh, boundless voyage titanium so it's just a basic uh, titanium spoon so i've got something to both stir and eat with i always carry a knife uh, in terms of on the bike um, i'll always have this little gerber for just everyday stuff but I also have for the wild camping side a is it a Morakini? Morakinil? I don't know. Swedish anyway, I think. So that's more for my wild camping. But the other knife, the Gerber, coats with more sort of cooking stuff. Fine. So two. The first one is the larger one, which is the larger cook pot, and that's the smaller cook pot. I use that as a cup, but also can use it to cook with as well. I've done a video on uh, one of these, I can't remember which one, but they're, they're both the same, virtually, apart from size. So, that's the larger of the two cook pots and I can cook a standard portion of pasta that will fill a bowl and then you know with your sauce and everything in I can cook a substantial meal with that enough pasta wise to uh, see me through if I've got no other food and when I'm traveling I always carry a bag of pasta not a bag of pasta but a portion of pasta so uh, the portion of pasta is probably about that big and I always carry that and I always carry a little sachet of sauce. So no matter what happens, no matter where I'm at, I've got a meal. So, for those that have not seen these, they've just got folding handles. They're quite good from a point of view of the mug, it's a cook pot. You have a little lid on the top, which can, can vent, got the little holes, and the little handle lays flat or by pulling it across you can lock it in place now in this pot this is the main cook pot i carry a gas bottle 
the stand to put the gas bottle on. And with this kit, I have the MSR pocket rocket. And it's a really good stove, little, really good burner this. It's the pocket rocket, well known, well tested elsewhere. And we'll just whack that on while I'm doing this, because I'm going to eat as soon as I've finished. So that's a little pocket rocket set up and then the stove just sits on top of that in that fashion. I'm looking at that and it looks a bit lopsided, but the table's lopsided. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the cook pot. I also, in that pot, carry the lighter for the stove. And also in, inside that, sorry, on top of that pot, like that, within the drawsting bag, I carry a coffee, a couple of coffees and a tea sachet with one of these little folding whizzy cups. Folder cup it's called, Swedish. I'm sure you've seen them. Don't use that very often, but the reason I carry it with a couple of tea bags or coffee sachets is that That and the spoon, that is a complete cook set in itself. I can cook a meal with it, I can boil water, I can have a drink with it. And the reason I've got this little folding cup, which I don't really use, but it's there, is that if I go with just this rather than the extra pot, then I have a cup if I'm cooking pasta or something else. And also, you know, at the end of the day, if you bump into somebody and you're gonna, you know, you can offer them a brew by offering them a cup, an extra cup. So that is in the first bag. And that's the main one. I can travel just with that, without anything else. But most of the time, in fact, almost all the time, I'm also traveling with this stacked in this, in the little bag. And this is just the same as that, except smaller. Now it's smaller, but the same size, widthwise, circumference. And it's got, it's exactly the same, works exactly the same. They're both Lixada. And I've had a few little bits off them and I quite like what they produce although I think you I think other I think these are made for various companies and they just brand it but anyway I'm happy with what I've had so again same lid so it's a second cook pot or or a mug now in this one what I carry is a little double bagged sponge with washing up liquid so it's soaked in washing up liquid. The reason it's double bagged is that it's just squidgy and squashy and leaky. So that allows me to clean these dishes, especially if I've had pasta, you know, especially if it's like a red sauce or something like that. So I've got something which sort of squeezes down to nothing to clean. And the other thing I carry in here is a more substantial drinks setup.
Now this is a bit depleted because I've, uh, I've been using it, but um, I have uh, various tea and coffee sachets. Always carry hot chocolate. I, I like a hot chocolate if it's a bit cool at night, just sort of warms you up before you go to bed. Some waste bags for rubbish. Very important while camping, take everything with you. So those bags are there. I do have some on the bike as well, so if I didn't have this pot, I'd still have some. And the other thing I have there with this pot is just a little basic tin opener. Can opener and spoon. Don't use that very often, but it's there in the event that I have something I need it for. Um, I've got it and it's, uh, it weighs nothing, it just sits there. Again, if I didn't have this on the bike, I have various bits of tools, and uh, one of them's a multi-tool, and that would, do, that would have the same things on to serve a purpose. I know it's like duplicating, and maybe one day I'll not duplicate, I'll just go for bang, one of everything, one thing that'll do everything, but for now, that, is what's in that pot. But it's no loss if I don't carry that. I can survive on the first one I show you. Now, the Lixada, the cook pot, this is the one that will do the pasta portion. It's a 750 milliliter pot. Now you can't put 750 milliliter in. I think you can put about 500. Yeah, you can put 500 in, otherwise you can't boil it. So it's a 750 milliliter size but boiling wise it's 500 milliliter of water which is just perfect for a portion of one portion of pasta uh, this one is uh, the cup but an alternate cook set is 550 milliliter which is quite a decent size for a brew So all that fits in there, but if I really want to go ultra light, I just take one of them. And I, I am going to be doing some walking, uh, a walking trip soon, over in the Lake District, uh, which is uh, not taking the bike. Uh, it'll be taking a backpack. I'll have to physically carry it all. So I will only take that. Guys, I hope that's useful. It's only a little short one. And uh, got any questions? Just give me a shout. Um, actually, uh, thinking about it, that's my basic cook set. I have uh, extra gear I take for some trips, and I'll show you that very quickly. Basically, I just carry it in a dry bag, and so this is an alternate if I need it. So that's uh, that bag there has a folding handled frying pan. I don't know what brand that is. It's not branded, but it's a titanium frying pan. Some oil. And these titanium pans, I think, do need to use oil because they, they'll stick quite quickly. Let's just get rid of all this. Yeah, so that little bag carries some oil for the frying pan a little plate now I can survive without the plate I can eat just straight out of the uh, the pots but if I'm taking the frying pan that fits in nicely so we've got that and this old uh, glasses case <laughs> never thrown out out carries Knife, fork, spoon set. Do I use that a lot? Used it last night though. Well, I used the fork last night. And I bought some of these, because uh, I have a jet boil as well, I bought some of these jet boil uh, tools for cooking and eating. There was a fork, a spoon, and this. The fork and spoon were crap. <laughs> they were just rubbish. So. If you see these on the shelf, 
it's usually a pack don't bother the only thing that actually works the only thing that works properly because these little handles come out like that now with a fork or a spoon they're flimsy they're crap just don't work however that works really well so I wouldn't buy the set just to get that but if you can buy that on its own that's quite handy so jet boil but don't put, don't buy the whole set the, the uh, spoon and the fork are a waste of time so I have those sort of uh, if I'm doing frying pan type cooking This, this blue bag here is dry bag. It all depends what trip I'm doing as to what I put in. So the frying pan and the plate and all that stuff, that's an alternate, alternate one. This, and I've, I've got a video on this. This is one of those twig stoves. And that, my friends, is built in seconds. And that, I've done a review, so have a look at the review. That is my alternate cook set. Did a steak on it last night. Thus, it's a bit grimy. So you have a bottom there to catch tray to catch the ash so it's sitting off the ground that just sits on the tray to allow air to circulate underneath whatever you put in there it's designed as a twig burning stove but you can put logs I've had logs in here and barbecue coals so you can have a barbecue you can set yourself up and do yourself a little barbecue it's only small but if it's just you big enough so that um, was an alternative for me to use now whenever i go away camping that is staying and coming with me every time might not use it every time but it's coming with me every time and the other thing i carry um, is a flat pack coffee maker there is a review on the channel about that so I can have a fresh coffee a folding water bottle if I'm on a campsite and then I just have a few bits of extra drinks in there and some extra things like mayonnaise and stuff like that and there is some coffee in there so tomorrow morning I might have a brew With wild camping this trip, I've not used the water bottle. Indeed, I haven't used the coffee uh, pot either. And the, the final thing that sits with the uh, sits with all that, or it, it might sit on the bike, I bought this uh, heat reflector for the MSR Pocket Rocket, which I haven't used yet, and I'll do a review on it when I do use it, but obviously to stop the wind from uh, blowing the flame all over the place it's uh, it's got uh, a circle and it's also got a base as well so if you're in colder temperatures it's not sitting directly on the ground so don't know how useful that will be but I'll find out sometime so that's it you've seen the very basic kit that I take you've seen the extras that I take the only thing I haven't shown you is uh, the wild camp kit, but that's just uh, the big knife that goes in there, a saw, a trowel, and uh, some bags, disposal bags, and sufficient to utilize toilet facilities. Guys, thanks for watching.
ain't going to be any music to this one. All the very best. I'm going to cook my food now. Thanks a lot.